can see this hole, it's because of catacombs, for example. Sometimes uh, land just collapsed uh -huh. and it means that somewhere, somewhere there, uh, there are catacombs. So that means right under it, there's a catacomb? Yes. So this spring there were, uh, were two collapses and one of them was near my uh, home. Mm -hmm. What is up guys, welcome to my channel, this is your boy Abiram back with a new video. So today we are going for an adventure, yes you heard it right. We are going to see the catacombs of Odessa, right? Yes, sure. Okay. For those of you who doesn't know what a catacomb is, a catacombs are labyrinth like tunnels under the, right under the city of Odessa. Just okay. near Odessa. Mm -hmm. Usually it's uh, just one, one level, but uh -huh. at few places we have two levels. Okay. In city, mm -hmm. there are um, uh, their catacombs have same level with the sea, okay. and uh, near 40 meters deep from surface. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, uh, under villages, uh, mm -hmm. catacombs, uh, it's uh, near uh, eight meters. Uh -huh. so use it. I've got my torch, so let's go explore. Sure. I guess we probably need the flashlight. So we can start. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, so about uh, our tour, we will walk near two hours, uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, at some places we will stop and uh, mm -hmm. speak about catacombs. And I can clearly see the difference of the temperature. It's so cold inside. It's just a moment when we came in. It, it's it's freezing inside, right? Yeah. It's a big difference. What is the temperature inside this? So here is near 13 degrees. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. uh, there is 30, here is 13. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, at some places there will be low uh, tunnel. Uh, uh -huh. So I will mm, tell you about the okay. places, don't okay. worry. Uh, so uh, just try to be careful uh, about uh, catacombs. Uh -huh. Our catacombs, uh, it's uh, mines, mines for uh -huh. extracting stones. So not for coal or something another. Mm -hmm. So just stones, mm -hmm. and uh, from that stones um, built all uh, buildings in Odessa city center. Mm -hmm. I mean old buildings. Mm -hmm. If you see something old, it is from this material. Mm -hmm. You can see it. Uh, these shells uh, everywhere at the ceiling, uh, at uh, at the walls. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, and uh, shells are from old sea, which was here uh, six mm -hmm. millions years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, miners used only uh, hand tools. Mm -hmm. um, later, I will try to explain uh, that uh, technology of mining. Mm -hmm. Well, and this mine one of the oldest, um, and um, that's why it's uh, so interesting. Um, we will see it. Okay, sure. On the way. Let, let's go. Come. Uh, come if on. you. Um, Ready, let's go. Yes, and yes. here at the beginning will be two low sections. It is uh, one of them, be careful. Mm -hmm. In catacombs, usually it's possible to meet uh, some bats, oh. uh, but uh, not often. <laughs> uh, one time I met fox in catacombs. You met fox, okay. It uh, hides in tunnels, so use it just for living. So um, be careful when once you're in the catacombs, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, in these catacombs I never met uh, foxes, but a um, few weeks ago mm -hmm. here uh, I started to see to some pieces of chickens, uh, you, you can see. Or, Come closer. Yeah. Um, I found uh, five um, chickens at this part of uh -huh. catacombs. It's interesting, but I didn't meet um, fox. This fox. Uh -huh, okay. Um, so there might be a fox which is hiding. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sure. Uh, we need to be really careful. Things are getting really scary. Yeah. Be careful here. Okay. Be careful. So uh, old catacombs. Uh -huh. uh, usually, it not looks like mine. Uh -huh. uh, at some places, even like here, uh, it's it looks like a cave, natural mm -hmm. cave, mm -hmm. and uh, it's beautiful, it's cool, but uh, it is not natural. Uh, here was uh, too wide the tunnel, and it collapsed. So you can Ooh. see collapsed ceiling. So uh, this is a collapsed tunnel. Sure, you can see it there, for example. Oh it my was goodness. 
Yeah, uh, over there it was a level of ceiling. There yes. was a uh, tunnel inside to it, so the roof just collapsed and just covered the entrance. Yes. Oh, yeah. well, catacombs, uh, it's a uh, good place for hide something or uh, used uh, catacombs in the past for smuggling uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, they used it like basements. Uh -huh. um, so. Uh, but um, one big part is uh, sure, sure, sure. World War II. Uh, in, uh, More exciting part is on the way yeah, to come, right? So, but this thing is so scary. Like the whole roof just collapsed, you know? Well, uh, it's because first miners were usual um, villages, mm -hmm. uh, villagers. They used only hand tools, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they were not very experienced. Experience yeah, person, they yeah. were without any special knowledge, mm -hmm. and they created many tunnels in the wrong places or. Mm -hmm. uh, Two, two wide tunnels mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at these tunnel, uh, wide places ceiling can collapse mm -hmm. and in past it was very dangerous mm -hmm. and uh, mm, by official information mm -hmm. uh, every year uh, p 50 people mm, died in catacombs because of collapses. Uh, real number mm, was more because uh, okay. at many places uh, miners worked illegally. Mm -hmm. So by official information here were uh, walk, uh, working uh, near 10,000 mm -hmm. miners mm -hmm. uh, every day in okay. mines in Odessa region. So. Um. Yeah, it looks tools. really authorized, you know, yeah. clearly. Uh, super perfect, uh -huh. and um, near 30% of stones were mm. bad quality or not standard size. So miners don't take money for these stones, uh -huh. and they just uh, leave it inside and try to construct uh, walls okay. or So I guess it was, it was kind of helpful, right? Because to make the base strong. Sure, you're right. You will see many different arrows or um, other marks and most of them are not old and uh, made by some explorers or uh, by another people who like uh, catacombs. I think it's like graphite. Yes, kind sure, of. you're right, it's a graphite. Uh, so uh, explorers used uh, graphite for drawing something. So it, uh, they were not professional explorers because professional explorers... Don't do that. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. It's much older, uh, it's, um, made by miners in past, uh, so uh, usual picture, um, it forced um, with the cart and the bricks. Uh, it's, uh, so, somebody tried to recover it with the graphite, but uh -huh. uh, in past it was old. Well, and another one, a uh, picture of uh, some soldier, maybe Cossacks. Yeah. Mm, Cossack. Uh, well, um, about horses, miners used horses for transporting mm -hmm. bricks. And uh, they used uh, them even underground. Well, um, at some uh, tunnels you will see like a track mm -hmm. at the floor. So, okay, uh, you can see like it's two trails, uh -huh. uh, two, uh, traces from uh, uh, wheels. So, oh, horse, so this was used as a yes, it was like a right? central way for uh -huh. transportation stones. Uh, well, uh, and um, you can think that um, if you found it, you can use it to find exit if you get lost. But mm -hmm. at most places now it not works because um, for the collapsing tunnels. Yeah, and, stuff, no? and um, many entrances were blocked uh, mm -hmm. when was World War Two. Okay. So maybe <laughs> you don't know, but our um, labyrinths are biggest in the world. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Mm, longest tunnels. Mm -hmm. uh, so total distance of all tunnels in mm -hmm. Odessa region uh, is uh, near 3,000 kilometers. That's Somebody very long. Somebody say about long. even up to up to up to 4,000. Uh, so, but it's not one system, mm -hmm. not one labyrinth. Mm -hmm. uh, we have many small mines. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, it's under a city. Mm -hmm. There are many small mines which don't connect with uh, each other. 
Oh, and it is biggest uh, underground labyrinth in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, at some places uh, mm, at the walls you you will see uh, uh, something yeah. like compact discs. Reflectors, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a um, compact disc with number and uh, uh, color pencil. So it was checkpoint uh, one time in this area uh, where competitions uh -huh. So and uh, so they have like a CD. Uh, well and, uh, and also a marker. Yes, it's checkpoint. Uh -huh, so checkpoint. Uh, at this competitions, uh, you take map um, and uh, you can use compass. Compass uh -huh. works here uh -huh. uh, very well. And um, at the map there are many checkpoints, and um, you have to find it uh, in tunnels. Mm -hmm. So if you find, you check number at the CD. Uh, and uh, make color mark mm -hmm. on your map. Uh, now uh, near 30% of catacombs have maps. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean professional maps because uh, it's not so easy to make good map. Yeah. Uh, and uh, nobody pays for this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have. Uh, oh, this is a good picture. Yes, sure. Yeah. Um, by the way, it's pretty old. Yeah. And some of them uh, really made by children uh -huh. uh, because um, some miners used uh, their uh, boys, so um, their sons, mm -hmm. at catacombs. So and children um, cannot cut stones. Yeah. They can, but they can go with horse tracks. For uh -huh. example, they can con control horse. Uh -huh. So, and when they wait for next part of bricks, they can draw something mm -hmm. just for fun. And uh, about another mm, children uh, were hiding here when it was World War II. Uh -huh. uh, so some mm, locals uh, were hiding uh, underground because it was uh, very dangerous to mm -hmm. stay uh, at the surface mm -hmm. when there were battles uh, between Soviet army and uh, Nazis. Well, mm, in the, our catacombs we have few problems. So, biggest of them that um, catacombs uh, destroy um, every time. So, uh -huh. uh, every year ceiling go down for a few centimeters uh -huh. because of pressure. So, mm -hmm. they, after 1000 years uh, our catacombs will be Long collapsed. Uh, we can see collapsed uh, ceiling, mm -hmm. so um, cracks at the walls. So, if you see some cracks, try don't touch anything mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. that place yeah. because oh. it's uh, not so um, strong material and mm -hmm. it's easy to Break. make a new collapse mm -hmm. so. and uh, it's uh. possible to go out there uh -huh. but uh, it's not very good mm -hmm. exit uh, because uh, just small hole mm -hmm. and um, so not comfortable and um, it can collapse more mm, yeah sure yeah. if you will be not careful if you just switch off the light you can just see the yeah. whole light I call places like this uh, emergency exits uh -huh. because uh, you can go out but yeah. uh, you will be dirty and uh, some of these uh, exits Exit. are at um, uh, private territories so uh -huh. you go out at s some private place and owners can say uh, uh -huh. what are you doing here <laughs> go <laughs> go back <laughs> this cross uh, uh -huh. so it's not something old um, mm -hmm. so made by few explorers mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, hand saw so that explorers just tried to make yeah. something this cross and they cut few blocks uh, this and this one so made by that explorers uh, so uh, um, so, but you can imagine um, miners cut uh, big blocks like this, and uh, here at the floor they divide it for standard size bricks, mm -hmm. and put uh, bricks to cart to the mm -hmm. cart and go um, to exit with horse. Mm -hmm. It not mean that uh, there is rain at surface. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, water coming down. So there is a small bottle here mm, because. Uh, so it uh, drops uh, every day. Even here. There's kind of leaking here. Uh, kitchens. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so these were used for by people who are hiding. Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, can find some can here. Probably for can. Um, it's uh, not very old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, here is even mm, some picture uh, made by this locals. Well, uh, <laughs> what about bones? Yeah. Bones of some chicken. Uh -huh. uh, so, I think it's old food mm -hmm. from uh, even World War Two time. 
this place so it was bad and they covered it with uh, dry grass pieces like this so it's from that uh, grass mm -hmm. so. this also used as a layering on top of the yes bed. yes these are the rooms uh, let's go and check okay you can see here is uh, uh, not so far to surface because you can see uh, mm. roots from some plants or grass maybe it's just uh, three meters to, to the surface people start to explore catacombs at uh, 1960 uh, so in, in uh, that time it was possible to find uh, a lot of interesting things mm. like uh, miners tools mm. or um, some coins or um, old bottles or uh, even uh, weapons. Uh -huh. Weapons from World War II. You can uh, see some bullets from uh, that oh. time from partisans. They were located in uh, this village and uh, at a few another um, catacombs and even uh, under city. That's where they make the barbecues. One time there was water in this place of the tunnel. Really careful. Oh. And here to this is so cool. surprise, we have two levels. Oh, this is this is the second level I've been talking about. Yes, so oh, let's so go cool. and uh, check this place. This is getting very interesting. Walking on the second tunnel. It's very narrow here. You need to be really careful, especially when you have a camera. Oh! oh. <laughs> you just scared me. <laughs> So just another one base, but at second floor. Mm -hmm. It may be not very comfortable because mm -hmm. uh, pretty low, mm -hmm. but um, pretty cozy. So not so many people know about this place. And uh, sometimes I take tea uh, with cookies in this place, but uh, now just having some good food in the camp, uh, not so good. But yeah, especially when you have, you know. Table and yeah. chair made of stones. <laughs> Why not? My friend visited um, India, then mm. he came to me and showed me uh, photos mm. and uh, he <laughs> made this tea. It was so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Table and a mirror over there. And also a can of water here in case you're lost. Places like this mm -hmm. base. Uh, here is it's like a bedroom, mm -hmm. so here uh, people sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, in places like this, um, we can make uh, like a parties. Mm -hmm. There is Bend another it. one room mm -hmm. behind this wall. There's some food and 
some probably some bones. Mm, people uh, hold uh, uh, home animals mm -hmm. here in catacombs. Should uh -huh. fly this way. Mm. Oh. oh, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. So let's go to another place. Well, and uh, <laughs> last difficult uh, part of our excursion. So, so we need to go down this. Just be careful and everything will be okay. Oh. So, yeah, it's not uh, difficult, don't worry. So be careful with the okay. head. And we can finally see the light. I hope we find the outside. Right, Vanya? Careful. Last one time. You can see the light. You can see the exit over there. Time to switch off the flashlight. Okay. And try to prepare. There will be a different world. Yeah, <laughs> different world. Cow, oh. Heat. <laughs> Right, and it's entering right into my eyes. Finally made it outside. Oh my goodness. Well, how are you? <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's really hard to adjust to the light outside, right? Yeah, sure. Oh. That was one hell of a trip. It was like really crazy. Vanya, he explained me yeah. everything. Thank you sure. so much, man. Yeah. It was a real good trip. Well, thanks for you too. Okay. You're yeah. cool. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much, brother. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you liked the video, like, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. And also, if you're an Odessa and you want to do some adventurous trip, especially the catacomb one or, you know, caves and hiking and stuff, make sure you contact their team. All the details are put in the description below. Make sure you guys check it out. And until the next video, it's me, your boy, Abiram, signing off.